I am Anil Kumar sharing with you questions from previous test paper. Let us try to find the exact value for trigonometric expressions. We are going to use special triangles, so it's a good idea to sketch them. So one of them is 45 degrees, the other one is 30, 60, 90. The sides for 45 degrees are 1, 1, square root 2. And for 30, 60, 90, they are 1, 2, square root 3. We have cos 45 degrees. Cos 45 means 1 over square root 2. So let's write this as 1 over square root 2 minus tan of 30 degrees we look from opposite to adjacent that is 1 over square root 3 so it is 1 over square root 3 divided by secant of 30 degrees so 30 degrees secant will be 2 over square root 3 so we'll write this as 2 over square root 3 times cos of 225 degrees now, <clears throat> cos of 225 means we are in which quadrant? We are in quadrant 3. So this value has to be negative, right? So this value is going to be negative, And the acute angle is 45 degrees, right? So it is 225 means the acute angle of 45 degrees. So it is negative of... 1 over square root 2. So these are the values for the given trigonometric ratios. Now we can cancel this square root 3 square root 3 in the denominator. We can take common denominator of 2 times square root 2. We get here 2 minus Minus and minus makes it plus, right? And 1 times 1 is 1. Right? So that gives us 3 over 2 square root 2. Now it is a general practice to rationalize. So we are going to multiply this by square root 2 and also divide by square root 2. So we have rationalized this. Now we can write this as 3 square root 2 over square root 2 times square root 2 is 2 and 2 times 2 is 4. So that is the value for the given trigonometric expression. Now let's do the next one. We have sine of 315 and cos of 300. Both are in quadrant 4, right? So 315 and 300. So that means we are looking for acute angles we could write this as equal to so 315 is basically minus sine of 45 degrees right so this is 315 so the angle is 45 degrees acute angle for cos 300 the acute angle is 60 degrees Cos is positive in quadrant 4, so we could write this as cos of 60 degrees, whole square. Now, minus, sine of 45 means 1 over square root 2, plus cos of 60 degrees means 1 over 2, whole square. We can take common denominator of 2 square root 2, so we get minus 2 plus square root 2 whole square so once you open this bracket with whole square in the numerator we get a square plus b square plus 2ab right so so we get minus 2 square plus 2 times minus 2 times square root 2 plus square root 2 square divided by square of this means 4 times 2. 
Now combining these terms, we get 4 minus 4 square root 2 plus 2 over 8. That is 4 plus 2 is 6 minus 4 square root 2 over 8. Now we can divide all of them by 2. So we get the answer as 3 minus 2 square root 2 over 4, right? So the exact value for the given expression is equal to 3 minus 2 square root 2 over 4. So that is how we can actually find the exact value for the given expressions. I like you to go through this once again, try to understand how we have written these angles in terms of related acute angle and then using these special triangles we could find the exact values. I hope that makes sense. Feel free to write your comments and share your views. If you like and subscribe to my videos that would be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.